Oh, uh, yeah. So, this is the part where I talk about... I probably have a terrible take and talk about Last of Us 2. So, do as you wish, I guess. I'm gonna try and just be real quick about this. Since you won't see my Last of Us 2 playthrough, I don't know if ever, I gradually just started descending into like, holy shit, can this be over? I was just not really liking... Well, by the way, Last of Us 2 spoilers, obviously. Anyway, I was not liking Ellie's story. <laughs> Sorry about talking la about Last of Us 2 during Black Ops 2 credits. But, again, I have nothing really much to say other than... It's pretty fucking good. I probably should have played it on PC, but I'm not gonna pay that much or whatever for PC. They're always like 20 bucks, 40 bucks, so I'm, I'm good. I'd rather just buy it from eBay for like less than 10 bucks and play it even if... Play, a, I guess, a worse version. It's fine. Anyway, the really, really short summed up version is I, I grew to dislike Last of Us 2. Mainly because Ellie's story was just... Holy shit, uh, like, nothing happened with her side of the story. Everything she was doing, like, either the, the guy Jesse or Tommy got to it and did it before her. So she was kind of just wandering around aimlessly Seattle, like, I guess not aimlessly, but... Nothing really happened until the very, very last, like, couple of hours of her story. And that's just where I got so fucking- Oh, I pressed plus on my keyboard, I really hope that did nothing. <laughs> Uh, everything looks fine. Yeah, I feel nothing really happens until the last part of her story, and when you get to, like, an interesting moment where Abby comes in, it just card cuts to, like, okay, you're playing as Abby now. You're gonna see what Abby was doing for these four days, and we're putting it ten hours or so into the game, we're switching over to her, and you're gonna replay until you get to that point, essentially, to see what happens. That is a really bad, like, moment, a bad spot to stick Abby's story in. Because Abby had been kind of pretty, ugh, like, at that point. Because, obviously, she killed Joel, that didn't sit well with a lot of people in the first, like, hour. What you see of Abby is, like, she's very incompetent, she almost got killed several times, Joel and Tommy save her. And then she just kills Joel and, uh, yeah, Tommy, uh, somehow escapes. Um, that's what you see of her, if, right when she kills Joel, being really incompetent, like, throwing tantrums, and she gets to kill Joel. So that's why it didn't sit well with a lot of people, it's, it's a poorly paced story. I wasn't really like that. I was just like, I saw the leaks, I, like, a week or two before the game came out, and I was like, Alright, how do we get here? How, how does this happen? I'll give it a shot, I'll, I'll see how this plays out, and go from there. So once Abby did that, I was like, okay, who are you, who are you gonna be? What's gonna happen? I didn't like the Hispanic guy, to be honest, the Mexican. Cause yeah, he's just talking shit to Joel as he's like dying in Spanish. And spitting on him. It's like, I hated that motherfucker more than like, I, I guess disliked Abby and her group. I hated Manny, that motherfucker. I hate him. Fuck him. Fuck him for being Spanish too. Why? Or Mexican. Why do you- why do you gotta be Mexican, man? Why? Why do you gotta do us like that? Why did that motherfucker have to be Mexican? It could've been- I don't know, have him be German or French or something. People could hate him easier. I could hate him easier. It's hard. <laughs> that he's- that he's our representation in that game, I guess. I don't usually care about that, to be honest. I don't care about rep representation. But we got Manny, and that's our representation in Last of Us 2. Fuck that guy. I'm talking about the character, not the voice actor. Voice actor, whatever, I don't- He's cool, I guess, sure. Fuck Manny the character. Fuck him. Like in Black Ops 2 compared to Last of Us 2, it was actually kind of cool to hear the Spanish. Understanding it without needing subtitles. Uh, fucking Menendez, even with this weird name that I've honestly never heard. I've heard Mendez more than Menendez, so... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, Menendez was pretty fucking cool. He was, he's pretty fucked, obviously, but... I'd rather have him, and people think he's badass or whatever, insane, compared to fucking Manny from Last of Us 2. Fuck Manny. If your name is Manny, I'm sorry, but fuck Manny. <laughs> I get riled up about him over anything else in Last of Us 2. God damn. That's how I was in my fucking playthrough whenever Manny showed up. And honestly, on both sides, I think you just see, especially Abby's side, you see your friends or whatever die 
pretty much at like certain points if you haven't played it and I guess intend to I said spoilers at the beginning so hope you're not here so Manny just they all kind of die unceremoniously which is fine whatever really I, I I think at least last of us 2 is like several months ago at this point Manny pretty much dies by Tommy's hand which is pretty good Tommy's pretty much running away you know you don't really know it's Tommy although you get hints that I should have gotten but I didn't get that like it's an insanely good sniper he's been taking out guys left and right no problem and no one's been able to get to him until you you and fucking Manny are there so you're pretty much kind of like playing cat and mouse with him and he like actually gets away by closing a like a warehouse door on you guys so you go around and as you're like trying to open up another warehouse door <laughs> Manny just gets shot in the fucking face by a sniper so that's cool yeah I, I didn't give a shit for Manny at all so yeah since I didn't really hate Abby I just wanted to see like how the fuck do we get here so honestly I was I kind of enjoyed Abby's story a bit more even if I didn't really care for her I, like I liked her dynamic with uh, Lev which is like a a kid a girl I think who identifies as a guy or a boy I mean and it pretty much kind of mirrors like young Ellie and Joel from the first game that might have been part of why I enjoyed it they just kind of like copy pasted that and you're experiencing it again but I feel uh I liked it I liked seeing that again so that was fine that's what I wanted more of with Ellie and Joel but we got like out of 10 minutes of Joel and that was pretty much it you really didn't get much with Joel and that's the other thing that like uh, a lot of people hate you you got barely any time with Joel as Ellie and then you come over as Abby and you get more time with Joel as Abby and then of course Abby kills Joel so that really and that's the first couple hours of the game and that's what a lot of people didn't like I mean I don't like it either but ugh. anyway <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked by talking about the beginning of the game Jesus Christ yeah Abby pretty much has Tomb Raider Lara Croft adventures and Ellie had blank slate cold revenge on her mind nothing else exploring Seattle that for the four days she you play as her it wasn't uh, wasn't great with nothing going on of course I feel like and then you get to Abby and she does a lot in four days <laughs> Abby has some fucking adventures in four days and that was a lot more fun to play than whatever the fuck I was doing with uh, Ellie but here's the other thing I didn't really think Abby's story dragged on like when it came to its end I was like okay but when Ellie Ellie's story just kept fucking going and going and going it never fucking ended so I know I left off on saying I think at least uh, Abby was having like Tomb Raider adventures it was marrying her relationship with Lev was mar uh, marrying not marrying uh, Ellie and Joel from Last of Us 1 which was nice there was some uh, you know like good relationship crap going on or whatever like it, it wasn't boring I guess is what I'm trying to say it was entertaining compare absolutely compared to uh, Ellie's story again which she was just a blank slate thinking about nothing other than revenge that's all she was to me and that's all I got from her and Ellie was just really really boring along with her nothing story going on two more things about Abby I still don't really know if I'm right in saying this but there was like a because I never played it but there was like a Resident Evil ass boss fight out of the fucking blue and that was pretty fucking fun I really like that it's probably very very simple because it's just like dodge and shoot pretty much and the, the fucking thing looks like something from, from Resident Evil to me. I thought that was pretty fucking fun. Really fucking good. Out of the blue. Never really expected something like that from Last of Us. So kudos to whoever fucking designed that thing and threw, like managed to throw it in a boss fight. Like with a monster not like David from Last of Us 1. Who motherfucker also has my name. <laughs> and the other thing was... Oh god what was it? Fuck, I had it in my head a second ago, but I, I can't remember what the second thing was. Oh, it might be this? Yeah, there's a part where you're, you're like trying to avoid two factions and you're just kind of crawling through like a little battlefield. I also really like that just because it solely fucking reminded me of Metal Gear Solid 4. And yes, I'm one of those people who started with Metal Gear Solid 4. 
I like Metal Gear Solid 4, okay? There's a couple of missions in MGS4 where you have to... I mean, you can engage them, but you can also just stealth around and avoid a battlefield. It really reminded me of that, and I just fucking loved it. It lasts, like, five minutes or less, but I liked it. That's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, once I found out who Abby was, I was like, all right, that's fine. I, I see why she did what she did. Oh, God, you know the thing that fucking hurts me the most? Last of Us 2... Well, two things. Last of Us 2 looks fucking incredible. Like, for a... For, I guess... Last-gen console game. Uh, I mean... Are we on last-gen already since... Xbox, whatever X, and PS5 are gonna be coming out, like, in a month or whatever? Should I be saying last-gen? Last-gen. Anyway. Last of Us 2 looks fucking incredible. That is... Abs it's absurd how good it looks. I thought Red Dead 2 looked good. Last of Us 2 looks even better. Like, what the fuck? How? I mean, there was Red Dead 2 and then... I think, and, and then, like, Spider-Man... No? I don't know. I don't remember release dates anymore. Spider-Man PS4 look, looked also fucking incredible. But Last of Us 2 is, like, one of the best-looking games. It's ridiculous how good it fucking looks. I don't know how my PS4 ran that. Like, what the fuck? That's some voodoo magic shit right there. Running on my PS4. Anyway, yeah. It, two things fucking hurt. Seeing old Joel at the beginning, that fucking hurts. But the thing that hurts even more... Seeing Jelly... <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Seeing Jelly. Yeah, you know, Jelly. Fucking Joel and Ellie. Jelly. Fuck me, man. Fuck. Well, I can tell you right now, Gabriel's not gonna let me live that down. I don't have to show him the clip, but I'm gonna go ahead and show them this clip. Oh, the powerhouse Jelly. <laughs> fuck. Oh, anyway. God. I hate myself so much. <laughs> you see Joel and Ellie... God, I'm focusing really hard not to say jelly. <laughs> you, you see both of them as their Last of Us 1, like, selves, redone in Last of Us 2, uh, 2's engine. And, oh, fuck, man, it kills me. I would love a Last of Us 1 remake, essentially, I guess. Not a Final Fantasy VII style remake. I don't want Time Ghosts or whatever the fuck th those were. A one-to-one -one remake of Last of Us 1 and Last of Us 2's engine, and I'd be fucking happy. With ne with also never touching Last of Us 2 again. I'm already doing that, but, you know, I'd, I'd have the satisfaction of... Oh, hey, look, I have Last of Us 1 remade and Last of Us 2's engine. I would fucking love that so much. I'm a sickler for graphics. Yeah, sorry. I know, that kind of hurts me sometimes when, like, I just don't really get into indie games. I can tell you the last one I liked. Shovel Knight. I don't know what, what what else was in between that. When Shovel Knight released, by the way. I... Indie games just don't really appeal to me. I... Uh, since a long time ago, a lot of them were just like pixel stuff. 8-bit stuff. I didn't really like that too much. It's... I know some of them try to like scratch the itch or... Like try to be... Homage? Is that how you say that? Some of them try to just... Capture what, like, the SNES games were, and all that, that era of games. But they just don't stick the landing to me. Like, nothing feels like playing games that actually released during the SNES's lifetime. Indie games absolutely do not feel the same to me, and I just can't get into them because of that. I know indie's a little more diverse now. It's like 3D, 2D, 2.5D, whatever. There's a lot more, but I'm just still not really interested too much in indie games. I could probably name a couple that I do like, but not off the top of my head other than Shovel Knight. I like Shovel Knight. And it's comp, right? I should really play that with Gabriel. I don't know if we'll record it. Look, to be honest, there's so much on the plate that I, like, keep telling. <laughs> Gabriel, I want to record. It, it, it just keeps adding up. I really need to stop telling him what I want to record when we don't even have time to record. So, yeah. That, that's why I don't really think that'll be something that's recorded. So, the reason why I wanted to talk about Last of Us 2, that, that's pretty much it, like, it was... Oh God. It was pretty fucking miserable. Like, after a while, I was like, oh, fuck! Incredible graphics. Day one, Seattle. And then after that, it's like, when is this... When, when's Ellie's story gonna end? Holy shit, there's nothing going on. This is... You're, you're fucking boring, Ellie. What the fuck? And then, you know, we got to Abby's. I was like, oh, okay. That fun, like, Tomb Raider adventures. Oh, my God. Yeah, before I come to my conclusion. <laughs> Sorry. There's also the other thing. 
Ellie and Abby meet several times, like at least two or three times. You want to know what happens each time? Each time Ellie tries to kill Abby, Abby wins the fight and lets Ellie go. Like, I don't have a problem with that. But here's the issue, where it becomes a problem. The second, the third time, Ellie keeps losing fights with Abby, and Abby lets her go. What the fuck? Just... <laughs> Can this... Ellie... Uh, Abby could have killed you several times at this point. You gotta just drop it already. If you can't pull a gun at her from, like, far away, you gotta just fucking drop it already. Like, I get, that's the whole point. Revenge is fucking... Uh, pointless, pretty much. Cycle of revenge. But that's not why I was hating it. I was just fucking hating it because, like, Ellie, you're fucking stupid. Abby's let you go so many fucking times at this point. Even if the last one, like, wasn't for Lev coming in at the last second to save Ellie again. Yeah, uh, like, I, I, Abby absolutely would have killed fucking Ellie and her girlfriend, so. Pregnant girlfriend. So yeah, like, come the fuck on. Just be done with it already. And then there's a last, last fight, which, holy shit, that place was just annoying in itself. New faction, thousands of guys in one area. Ugh, that was annoying. That was the thing that annoyed me the most as well, like, the gunplay, not having enough ammo for shit. I played on hard. My mistake for two things, playing on hard, and the other thing, not knowing you can adjust the difficulty settings separately. You could have everything hard, or you can have, like, difficulty hard, you can have drops, easy, things like that. That would have made it a little bit better if I could always have ammo supplies. I didn't know that. I didn't think that was a thing. I'm not even sure if that was in the first one. If it was, I missed it as well. It just became annoyingly unmanageable and grating to play because, oh, I killed four guys here and they're fucking annoying dogs. Like, those dogs are the only ones that are fucking annoying in a game. I think everyone actually agrees with that. These dogs, for whatever reason, are absolutely annoying and no one feels any remorse for really killing Last of Us dogs, which is weird. But that's kind of like the universal agreement, I guess. So yeah, I killed these. I killed like four guys stealthily, maybe with a bow and arrow stealth and the dogs. And guess what? I move up like a couple, like an inch and in come four more guys to replace the four guys I killed and two more dogs to replace the two dogs I killed. It was fucking grating at that point. Like it was just an endless sea of like, let's just send in guys. Let's just place guys here with guns at every point of the way. Honestly, I liked fighting the cult faction. They were fucking stealthy. I had- I- I liked being stealthy back. Like, anytime I went up as Ellie against the faction, the cult faction, I really liked that. Like, getting a whole area completed stealthy, that was still pretty satisfying in Last of Us 2. Uh, yeah. Uh, it just was not worth doing stealth against the guys with guns. And you wanna know who you go up against the most? The guys with guns. And dogs. So, fuck. Another thing, it was trying to be like... It was trying to have like realism in animations and all that. Like Red Dead 2. And it was already kind of annoying in Red Dead 2, but... The story, the characters... Even kind of the gameplay, to be honest. Like, made up. For sometimes the animations being like funky, being too slow, like changing guns or whatever. Not so much in Last of Us 2. Laying down trying to change weapons was the most aggravating thing. It's just so annoying when I see someone walking towards me, running towards me, or whatever. I could kill them, you know, if I had, like, my bow or a pistol with a silencer. But I have, like, my rifle out or something. So, I want to switch to the pistol. It takes fucking ages just to switch weapons while laying down. I, I hate realistic, I don't know, realism animations, I guess. It takes fucking ages to do anything. It was just really grating, like, before I even finished Ellie's story. Like, all this was adding up before I even switched to Abby. Which, guess what? Abby's faction, the Wolves, who you were fighting as, uh, Ellie, were the ones with the guns. The Cult faction were mainly bow and arrows, and that's kinda it. So, guess what happens when you switch to Abby and you're not fighting the Wolves anymore? The ones with, uh, all the guns. Guess what they gotta do for Abby? Yeah, that's right. The same Cult faction you've been fighting as Ellie. Oh, suddenly they have a fucking huge armament of guns. What the fuck? Ugh, that's fucking ridiculous to me. I liked fighting the cult faction, but here you go, making them the same as the wolves, giving them hundreds of guns, when, like, how the fuck did they even come into these guns? Ugh, there was just a lot I didn't like about Last of Us 2, and I'm still talking about it. 
I don't even know how much, how much, how long I've been talking about Last of Us 2. Okay, I think that was more or less everything. It was really a descent into, well, from, like, you know, holy shit, this is pretty nice, seeing Joel and all that, to then just, can this fucking be over? Holy shit. I was still trying my best to give Last of Us 2 a fair fucking chance. And guess what? Came out not liking it, other than Abby and Lev, really. And Joel. Tommy, I, I guess? I don't know, Tommy kind of got, like, revenge hungry as well, so... Ugh. I get it, we all love Joel. We all fucking love Joel. But come on, Tommy. You're better. Okay, I think that's as much as I can remember about Last of Us 2. Which was a lot, and I hate it. <laughs> yeah. So you want to know why the reason Last of Us 2 is on my mind? Black Ops 2 does the whole, like, every step of the way is suffering for, like, almost every character. Everyone left and right wants revenge. I feel like, at least. And you know, and you want to know what I think? Treyarch nailed what Naughty Dog was trying to do with Last of Us 2 in Black Ops 2. They fucking nailed it, I feel. They made a pretty good story. They made the characters, you know, enjoyable, likable. I get that's probably a really poor take, but that's just how I feel. Black Ops 2 did what Last of Us 2 tried to do and actually nailed it, I feel, or very close at the least. It did it better than Last of Us 2 did. I mean, hell, you even have Wood ca uh, what? <laughs> you even have Woods getting kneecapped here and then you have Joel in Last of Us 2 getting kneecapped before he dies. Granted, Woods doesn't die, but it's just it's kind of kind of interesting coincidence that uh this whole thing about, you know, character suffering and cycles of revenge. That there's two characters in each story that both get kneecapped with shotguns. It's pretty fucking coincidental. I would rather play this on Veteran and complete it than ever touch Last of Us 2 again. Last of Us 2 is miserable, but not not for the reasons... What's his face? I don't even remember his name. The lead director whatever of Naughty Dog. Is, is it Nathan? Uh, maybe, I don't know. It wasn't sufferable or terrible for the reasons he said it was. I I don't even know how true this statement is. I just saw it being thrown around a lot. But that same guy, I, the lead of Naughty Dog or whatever, Nathan Druckmann, is that his name? He, I, it was thrown around. Again, I don't know if this is an actual statement he said. But what I had seen, a lot of people like quoting him saying... Last of Us 2 isn't meant to be fun or something like that? Yeah, it absolutely was not fun or enjoyable, but not for the reasons that you think. The gameplay became miserable at some point, pretty early on. At least story just got tiring. I stopped caring at some point. Abby was kind of fun with Lev. Still didn't really care too much about her friends, dying every step of the way. The game was like 30 hours longer than it need needed to be. <laughs> You could have really just cut out Ellie's story and nothing would really change much. That's how I feel. You could have just left the story as Abby and it, I... Yeah, I mean, I would have been okay with that. Would have been a better game to me. Cut out Ellie's story entirely. That was my the problem I had with the game. Nothing happens in Ellie's story. Fuck. I can't, like... I'm sorry if that's annoying. I just can't say that enough. Nothing happens with Ellie. Everyone does whatever she's setting out to do before she gets there. You really did nothing, Ellie. Cool. Other than get your ass beat by Abby a couple times and almost killed the last time, if it weren't for Lev. Oh yeah, here's the other thing. Yeah, Ellie was never gonna win, like, a hand-to-hand -hand fight with Abby, obviously. So at the end, you get a malnourished Abby, who's like, nah, fuck, we're not doing this, fuck this. Like, she's, like, doesn't want to deal with Ellie anymore. Doesn't want to kill her either. Like, fuck this, I'm just going. Oh, but no, Ellie's gotta have that revenge, of course. And only then... With a malnourished Abby, does Ellie actually stand, I guess, a fair fight? I mean, it is a malnourished Abby, so... Yeah, that whole game just left a bad taste in my mouth with, uh, Ellie, I guess. Even Joel. Well, not like Joel did anything horrible or he was... He was done dirty, that's about it. Like, that's what's what left a bad taste in my mouth. He was absolutely done dirty. Ellie just became boring. Somehow, Abby was the more interesting character. More fun character. But yeah, the game, I suffered playing that game, but not for the reasons. If that statement is true, is... Oh, is it Neil Druckmann? Yeah, Neil Druckmann. Whatever, I don't fucking remember at this point. Whatever reasons he may have said, if that's true, I did not suffer or not have fun for those reasons that he th probably thinks. 
It was purely for gameplay reasons and getting tired of the story and wanting it to end. God, do I never want to play Last of Us 2 again. Holy shit. I'm trying to save Gabriel from this fate. Gabriel's like, well fuck, I think I gotta play Last of Us 2 now. No, he fucking don't. Dude, please don't. He just wants to play it to experience the gameplay, like see, I guess, like with what I'm saying, like, not as true, but like, he wants to, he wants to see if it actually feels as bad as I'm saying. You don't need to do that to see that, I guess. It's not a great game to fucking play. <laughs> Especially with all the how long animations take for every little fucking thing. It's not great to play. Uh, anyway, even if it's a poor take, I, I really stand by saying that Black Ops 2 does whatever the hell Last of Us 2 is trying to do. At the least, it does it better. There's no poorly paced like cutscenes or missions. Which yeah, Abby has some decently bad like place flashbacks scenes missions yeah they were they were kind of poorly placed at like really odd moments especially switching over to abby is at a really fucking bad moment it just kills all the momentum like that's currently going on it's like oh shit like shit's going down now nah, plays abby though plays abby as a kid looking for her dad like her dad's teaching her something like oh i don't know hunt for yourself or some shit so it goes from an intense moment to a very fucking slow like who gives a shit about this right now moment? So that's very fucking poorly placed to switch over to Abby at that point. So yeah, cycle of revenge. Every character fucking suffers pretty much. Black Ops 2 nails that pretty well. It's also a lot more enjoyable with better characters. Sorry, I'm still talking about Last of Us 2. I, I know, it's probably grating at this point. You know how the game felt to me. Oh god. Naughty Dog, please, please just make... Last of Us 1 remade and Last of Us 2's engine without time ghosts and I'll be pretty fucking happy with never needing to remember Last of Us 2 exists. Dear God. What the fuck? That's still just quite the coincidence. Two characters getting kneecapped. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna come back for the last mission if you forgot. I'm gonna come back to redo it and actually shoot Menendez in the face, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, uh, we're done. <laughs> we're done with Last of Us 2 talk. Fuck me, man. I'll see you guys next time.